Welcome to episode 18 of my 2022 training diaries. I'm here in Silverton, Colorado at about 9,300 feet. That's over 2,800 meters on a beautiful Monday morning. And this is of course the location of the Hard Rock 100 Endurance Run, which started on Friday morning and ended yesterday here on Sunday morning, 48 hours later. It really is one of the most historic and challenging races in the sport. And we saw some incredible performances at the front of the field, as well as from our two friends who were running the race. And so this video is gonna be a little bit longer because I've got just a ton of great footage from the race, as well as from our trip down here. We've been on the road for about a week now. We took three days to drive down to Silverton and arrived on Wednesday evening, just in time for the check-in and the festivities here on Thursday. And this week I'm back to my training in lead up to UTMB. That's one of the main reasons we're down here enjoying the altitude, as well as to pace and crew our friends who were running Hard Rock. It had only been a couple of weeks since my last race, the 250 kilometer seven day staged race in the country of Georgia. We left Vancouver on Monday, driving about 12 hours to Boise, Idaho. So I took this as a rest day. The next morning, we continued on to Utah, making a stop in Salt Lake City for the night, where we got out on some nearby trails for an easy 90 minute run. Five degrees cooler here, so that's nice. On Wednesday, we got up early for our scheduled speed work, since we wanted to get it done before reaching altitude in Colorado. We were then back on the road again for the final leg to Silverton. Okay, so we're almost in Silverton. We just passed through Ure, which is around 6,000 feet. Um, Silverton's up at, I think, 9,340 feet. Hopefully we're done with the sketchy part. Yeah, the roads are a little bit sketchy coming through the pass there. <laughs> On Thursday, we got out for a two-hour run as we began to acclimate to the altitude. All right, so it's day two in Silverton. It's about 9 a.m. We just finished doing our pacer check-in and uh, we're setting off on a run here. Uh, we're gonna do a section and out and back of the Colorado Trail. And uh, we started at about 11,000 feet. You can definitely feel the altitude just from the three or 400 meters that we ran so far. I'm definitely breathing heavy, but also I feel like this is how I always feel with my little iron life. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's always such an effort. Hi. Hi. Good dog. Friday was the start of the Hard Rock 100, so I joined some friends to watch the lead runners come over Grant Swamp Pass. Max, yeah. what, what's your Instagram handle again? Oh, Trailbound Sketches. 
follow Max on Instagram. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> he makes some beautiful artwork, watercolor pa uh, paintings that he does up on mountaintops. Just awesome stuff. I didn't even pay you to say that. <laughs> it's like taking a photo, just it takes 10 times as long. It doesn't look as good. Uh, <laughs> but no post-production required. But no post-production required. <laughs> So Hard Rock is underway and we are just on our way up to Grant Swamp Pass to intersect the lead runners to get a few shots. I'm with my friend Hillary here, originally from Vancouver, Squamish, now living part-time in LA with uh, her boyfriend Billy. Billy Yang, of course, you all probably know. He unfortunately is stuck back at the car because we can't get the trunk closed, but hopefully he'll be able to catch up with us here in a minute. But yeah, it's a beautiful day so far. Uh, I think there was a lot of rain in the forecast originally, but last I heard the forecast is improving. So Hillary, who are we going to see in the lead up here? Oh man, I mean, I think my money's on Francois for the win. Yeah? Okay. I, have to say, I saw him race this last year, and I don't even think he broke a sweat, so. Wow. <laughs> but Killian has that much more experience on the course. Yeah, of course. That said, he hasn't done it as recently. Yeah. And Francois is the only person to have ever beaten him at UTMB, so. Right. It's going to be a battle for sure. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. And what about the women's field? Courtney, all the way. Courtney, all the way? All right. I think she's dialed her nutrition from last year. Yeah. She's super focused. She seems really calm. Yeah. So. Yeah, nice. Ooh, Good morning. Beautiful, huh? Are you crewing or? Um, I've just been out. coming here since 2014. I experienced it once and never left. Yeah. This nice. place is amazing. The weather we have today too. I think we're gonna have a magical hard rock. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's a payoff. At work here. The shaking hands always, always make the lines exciting. This is cold. Like I'm, I'm from Alaska. Like this is chilling me out. I did not expect this, no. but it's worth it. Like yeah, well the sun's coming out. Hopefully. Yeah, the sun's coming out, and then, and then, uh, just taking ten steps, you're out of breath, so much heat right. up real fast. <laughs> what do you think, bud? What do you think, huh? Yeah. So we're up here at about thirteen thousand feet. And the runners are going to come up the way we came. They're going to come along this ridge here. And then, believe it or not, they're going to drop down this gully. And I think we're going to see Killian bomb this pretty quickly here in just a few minutes. You guys seen anything over there? It looks like Killian and then Francois. Oh, yeah. It definitely looks like Francois. And then, that would be exciting. Not that bad until they stood up. Okay, better make my way over here. So I can watch him get down the gully. Here he comes. Yeah, dog, let's go. Vamanos. Nice work, Killian. Nice work, Dakota, nice job. It's about as good as it gets. Yeah, 
Bronco. Nice, nice job, bud. Luke said you're too old to too strong. Go get him, buddy. Heck yeah. Have a good one today, Bronco. Great stuff. Nice job, Courtney. Thank you. Courtney, Minnesota's out here rooting for you. Pride of Minnesota's out here today. Yeah. We're proud of you, right? Trying not to fall. Yeah. Trying not to fall. Yeah. Nice job, looking good. Yeah. Nice to finally meet. How's the altitude? Yeah, I mean, I think I should slow down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to be up here. <laughs> Yay! We're all cheering for you, so. Thank you so much. That's so kind. See you out there. Yeah. How are you doing, Ken? Fabulous. You're Flowers, looking good. Sunshine. Yeah. Nice it's job, such a, Ken. Such a pretty place. This. Ken was the runner that I came to Colorado to crew, which I spent the rest of the day and most of the following doing until it was my turn to pace for the final nine miles. All right. Woo! Are your feet in good shape? They seem fine. I'm usually pretty lucky with my feet. Yeah. They're not too. They're not too fancy. Yeah. All right, looking good here. Ken's just stopping for a little sugary snack. And we'll keep climbing away. Beautiful evening. Might just get a really nice suns mm -hmm. sunset on the top here. That's a pretty good shot of you, Ken. It was a big climb. Okay. It's incredible. It's so pretty. Ken making quick work of this descent. 
like the pro that he is. Close as we can get it. Eh? Figure he gets pretty well fed. Yeah. By tourists and all that. Congratulations, Ken, on the hell of a run. Thanks, man. That was a good adventure. Yeah, that was fun. It's and a what long a, adventure. What a strong finish. <laughs> Crazy finish. In style. Ken absolutely just bombed that last, let's say, six kilometers. Thanks, Thank you. Woo -woo. That's right. <laughs> Straight, straight ahead, straight ahead, yeah. Follow the voices. I hear voices. The day after the race, we got out for another three hours as we attempted to bag a 13er just outside of Silverton. Okay, so it's Sunday afternoon. It's the day after Hard Rock. Uh, the awards just finished and uh, we're on our way up to Tower Mountain for probably a three hour out and back, uh, just outside of Silverton here. I think it's the largest of the 13,000 foot peaks that uh, are right on the edge of town. Uh, so we're looking for something to sort of fill our afternoon, but that uh, won't take too long. Um, unfortunately, there are some clouds forming up ahead uh, towards the summit, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on those. Um, that's pretty typical here, mid-afternoon. So we'll play it safe if, if it looks like lightning is coming in or if we hear any thunder, we'll immediately turn around and head back. But uh, it's also quite warm, which is the other downside to having left it so late. But hey, it is what it is. So these are called columbines and you can eat the flower. So these are really tasty. And you just eat the whole thing. Tastes a little like fresh lettuce with a sweet finish. It's nice. We got a smorgasbord here. Let's make a salad. further away from us yeah but for all we know there could be just another one rolling in yeah there could be another system coming right behind it so <laughs> yeah you can 
hear that, eh? We're gonna call it a day, head back down, save this one for another day. So we'd almost made it to the ridge up there, but uh, we saw some lightning, we heard some thunder, and it sounded like it was pretty close. So we uh, ran down to a meadow uh, that was a little bit further down and spread out, crouched down, put away our poles, and gave it a few minutes to see if it was gonna pass through quickly or get worse. And we heard a bit more thunder, so we decided to make our way back down here pretty quickly. And we're now down into the valley and feeling a lot safer. So we still got a couple hours on feet today. It's fine that we didn't make the summit. It'll be there next time for us. So for the week, I ran a total of 74 kilometers or 46 miles with 3,358 meters of elevation gain or just over 11,000 feet. So we're here in the San Juans for a couple more days. We have another big adventure planned for tomorrow before we hit the road again on Wednesday. And the plan so far at least is to hit the Grand Tetons on the way home and to run a big loop around the park, which is just gonna be beautiful. So stay tuned for footage from all of that in next week's update. And I've got a whole bunch of footage left from the race that I wasn't able to fit into this video. So I'm thinking about putting together an extended cut give you a much more in-depth look at crewing and pacing the race for any of you hard rock super fans out there. So let me know in the comments below if that's something that you'd be interested in. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and I will talk to you all next week from our home back in North Vancouver.